So get ready and strap in. Are you sitting comfortably? Yes, then I'll begin. Our story starts light years away and 16 years ago on my home planet at Christmas in the gently drifting snow. It's like the planet Krypton, but spelt with C H, not K, so it's a bit more festive and with no copyright to pay. A legend from this planet says that one of us went, once went to Earth and made a life with humans far from the planet of his birth. The yellow sun gave super strength and speed, but please remember, he only has his powers in the last weeks of December. They found a way each year to spread happiness and joy all around the planet to all good girls and boys. I hope it's true, because here in Krypton we're all full of gloom. Vibrations in the crystals show the place was going boom! This world's most famous expert just happens to be my master he's gone to the planet's cancer to try to avert disaster he's coming back to tell us what the council elders say and politicians always listen so i'm sure we'll be okay what news what did the council say should we prepare to evacuate how long do we have when will the first rockets leave quickly tell us what to do go home All of you. Home? What's happened? What should we do? Nothing. Go home. You will all be fine. But that's not true. The planetary court is melting. Didn't you explain to them? We have to evacuate. The council have spoken. There'll be no evacuation. LF, you know what to do. Sir? All ships are to remain grounded. Nothing large enough for a man will slip through the shields. I understand. I will return to you here. Why won't they listen to you? You've studied the core crystals your whole life. They are tired of experts. They hear only what they want to hear. Tired of experts? They cannot hide from the truth. They make their own truth. A truth they want to believe. And they shout it loud until all the other voices are drowned out. And when there is no other voice heard... It becomes the truth. It does not. The truth is the truth. (sighs) Perhaps. It's impossible. Nobody could be so foolish to doom their own planet and all its people. For what? For profit. For power. And now they cannot hold on to those things. For pride. Because if the planet dies, they will be to blame. But if we all die with it, who will blame them? Here, sir, I have returned. LF, why have you brought our daughter? You know why. We've discussed this. There is no choice. If she remains here, she will die as surely as... As surely as we will. But why Earth? They are primitives thousands of years behind us. Far enough behind to remember that there is such a thing as truth you think she can help them it has happened before but that is a legend perhaps she can be a legend too a winter solstice that some will make it almost indestructible she'll be alone she'll have a left 
She will crack one of them. But she will not be one of them. This cannot be the only way. There must be something else. Will you listen to me? Or will you too make your own truth? A truth you want to believe. How, how long do I have? Long enough to say goodbye. Whatever lessons now, little one, as you blast into the unknown, if people that are stupid, thoughtless or cruel, know that you'll never be alone. Remember you'll be standing on the planet that's evolving And revolving at 900 miles an hour That's orbiting at 90 miles a second So it's reckoned A sun that is the source of all your power There's sun in you and me And all the stars that we can see We'll be moving at a million miles a day In an outer spiral arm at 40,000 miles an hour of a galaxy they call the Milky Way The galaxy itself contains a hundred billion stars It's a hundred thousand light years side to side It boulders in the middle, 16,000 light years thick But out by you it is 3,000 light years wide with 30,000 light years flat its central point We go round every 200 million years And our galaxy is only one of millions and billions In this amazing and expanding universe itself keeps on expanding and expanding in all the directions it can whiz as fast as it can go the speed of light you know so million miles a minute that's the fastest speed there is i remember when you're feeling very small and insecure you are a gift to all the human race and we know you'll find intelligent life somewhere down on earth when there's nothing left up here in space Well, it's just what I need. Really, some lovely young people to help me with this modern, confusing technology. Hello, boys and girls! Oh, come on! Hello, boys and girls! I see. You think you're safe from audience participation, don't you? You all think I'll just give up. Not a chance. You watch this. Hello, boys and girls! Hello, Martha! There! You see? Told you! And now we've said hello, I can introduce myself. My name's Martha McPanhandle, and I'm just a simple, small-town farmer's wife trying my best to bring up the world's biggest idiot. That's my son, Little Wooly. Have you met him yet? No! No? Oh, lucky you! I suppose we're doing something called a Zoom with him to check on the Christmas shopping, but I can't figure it out. Do you know what I have to do to join the Zoom? Just, just click join! What? That's it? Just click join? Yes! All right then, I don't know why they don't make it a bit more straightforward for us old folks here. Wally! 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 Can you hear me? You don't have to shout. I do have to shout to get through. But we're on Zoom. It doesn't matter about the distance between. 
it's not the distance between me and you I'm worried about. It's the distance between your ears and your brain. Aw, thanks, Mum. Not a... Never mind. Have you got the Christmas shopping? The shopping? Yes, the shopping. I've been trying to get a delivery slot. A delivery slot? I told you to get one months ago! A slot months ago would be no good. The turkey would go off. I told you to get one on Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve today. No, I told you months ago to get one on Christmas Eve. I can't believe this. I know. I thought I'd forget as well. Well, have you found one? Are you joking? You can't get a slot on Christmas Eve. Everybody knows that. Right, that's it. I'll teach you a lesson. Oh, yeah? How are you going to do that, Mum? We're on a Zoom call. Like this. Ah! How did you do that? It's easy. You just take your pan and... Oh! Oh, I get it. You just... Take your pan and... Oh. All right, Wally, stop messing about. We need that shopping. Have you tried the Mini Mart? They couldn't fit me in. The Quickie Mart? I was too slow. Kmart? Couldn't spell it. Walmart? Like talking to a brick wall? Tesco? There were uh, very little help. Little? Very little help. Any of the local they're jammed. What about the shepherds on the hillside? They're rammed. Any of the inns in Bethlehem? No room. So where are you now? Oh, I just saw, saw this amazing light in the night sky. So I thought I'd follow that. You're following a star. Why not? Honestly, Willie, I cannot think a single president throughout world history of literature and religion of anyone thinking it was a good idea to follow a strange star in the sky around Christmas time! No, I suppose. Sorry, Mum. I'll come home, shall I? Yes. Where's it led you to, anyway? Saint breeze. I'm on my way! And so it came to pass that on that frozen Christmas Eve, following a blazing star in the sky above Sainsbury's, they set out on a quest to seek the last of the Christmas turkey. And all the rest, the chocolates, nuts and wine, and fancy cheese. But as they truly filled, they found they had the strangest feeling. That glorious star was just about to crash in through the ceiling! Mummy! Wooly, what was that? Mummy! No, not that! Before that! You mean the... Thingy? Yes, the... Thingy. I don't know, but I think it's landing in Petsile. Well, go and have a look then! Me? Why should I go? I thought you're the one who's strong, smart, brave, tough and resourceful. But you're something I'll never be. What's that? Expendable. Th oh, thanks, Mum. It's not a... Ugh. Come on, have a look. All right, here goes. Mum, Mum, it's a baby. A baby came down from the sky. Don't be such a woolly woolly. Babies don't just fall magically down from the sky. Oh, where do they come from then? Uh, 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 oh, look, a baby. <laughs> look, Wooly, isn't she perfect? I don't know, Mum. We've never had a baby for Christmas dinner before. Not for dinner, Wooly. For us. I always wanted a beautiful baby of my own to care for, but <laughs> I was never blessed. You had me. Exactly. Now, wait there while I go pop her in the trolley. Careful, Mum. It looks a bit unstable. Nonsense, Wally. For the pets are in a supermarket, it looks remarkably like a stable. 
No, Mum, the trolley, it looks really unstable! Wally! Help! Oh, help! Don't worry, Mum, I'm coming. If I can just... Uh, uh, ah! Mum, help! Oh, Wally, what have you done, you stupid? Here, I can just... Uh, ah! Wally, help! Oh, no, again. It's all right. This time I can... Uh, uh, ah! It's all right, I... Uh, uh, ah! 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 Now look what you've done, you stupid! If I could reach my pan, I'd... <gasps> So that amazing little girl was taken in by those strange folks and raised in a home that was always filled with love and dreadful jokes. And never again at Christmas were they angry or frustrated with her winter powers. She got the whole town decorated. When she was six, her Christmas dinner fed 5,000 neighbours. The next year, her 90-foot snowman made all the national papers. And as for me, I waited and I watched and kept her safe, knowing in the end she had a destiny to face. And now, the time has come for her to learn all that I know. So I hacked into her laptop and popped up to say... Hello! Who are you? What are you? The question is, who are you and what are you? I asked first. And I know I've always wondered where I, whether I truly belong here, but you, I mean, you're a mysterious robot on caterpillar tracks. That's not so unusual where I come from, where we come from. You mean... I came here with you from your own planet. This is my planet. But it wasn't always. What happened? Your planet, our planet, is gone. So I'm alone? No, there is another. You mean... Haven't you ever wondered how Santa delivered gifts all around the world in one night? Well, I wondered if maybe the parents... The parents? Be sensible. The only real explanation is someone with great superhuman powers is doing it. Someone like... Like me. So, are you ready? For what? To find him, of course. To find Santa. We can do that. I've been watching a house that's not my home Learning about Santa and watching him grow The time's come for me to come and meet you I've waited on my own Now it's so clear why we came here We've got somewhere, somewhere to go Now I won't be lonely as we go to the North Pole I won't be lonely this Christmas As we shovel through the cold It'll be cold, so cold As I guide you through the snow This Christmas Mum, Wally, I have something important to tell you Each Christmas I wonder about how I came to you And now to find some answers There is something I must do So for this year I can't stay here Gotta find my own destiny I'm sorry that you just might have to Decorate your own Christmas tree But I'll be lonely Oh,
overnight. We never thought it'd be that there'd be an end. And I remember looking at you then, and I remember thinking this was meant to be. But now I see these hours at this time of year, they're a gift. If it was really meant for just for me, I would get such a suggestion. But it'll be lonely this Christmas with our Meanwhile, all our Christmas miracles hadn't quite escaped attention. And just as well, because the plot needs some dramatic tension. In a secret hideout far away, someone else was lurking. I'm wondering how all these Christmas miracles were working. Don't worry, boys and girls, and have no fear, mummies and daddies. The action's bound to start because it's time to meet the baddies. Yes, Miss Multinational. Really mean. Here we sit, Miss Highwater. Mere days away from executing the business coup of the century. And how do you choose to congratulate the greatest business mind of our age? Do you call me brilliant? A bit obvious that I grant you. Charismatic then? Fiendishly gifted? Mean. Why have you got it in for Santa anyway? Did you see our latest quarterly reports? The thing with all the numbers and the wiggly lines? Yes, that thing with all the wiggly lines. And what do those wiggly lines tell us? That we're unaccessible market leaders. Nobody else can compete with us because we're the biggest online distributor of gift toys and plastic tat in the world. Second biggest. Second. With one competitor who won't go away. Do you mean Santa? Santa. An old guy with a white beard giving things to poor people for nothing. What's so wrong with that? Don't you follow politics? It's not what the people want. They must prefer rich blonde egomaniacs. Like you? Worldwide distribution 
Man, he could be a trillionaire. We've got the Boston X Series Xbox, new PlayStation delivery. We've got the Sun and Matronic Baby Yodas. We've got the Cell, the Pride OMG. He could have pushed his prices high. Now look at this town, they spent so little at Christmas. And now I think I found out why. So look here, what's this? A little girl flying and carrying a 300 for Christmas tree. That ain't business, they're like Father Christmas. Giving presents for nothing means no clicks for me. We got a shifty smartphones and tablets. Lego Technic Delivery. We've got to sell these for pink flamingos. We've got to sell separate batteries. She's like Father Christmas. So I'm in around and making Christmas free. But this Christmas, I'm taking care of business. I'll follow that girl and she'll bring him to me. No more presents for nothing. Means clicks for me. No more presents for nothing. Means clicks for me. Please click for me. Please click for me. <laughs> so, so we'll follow this girl. And she'll lead us to Santa. I fear she won't be quite that stupid. Then who will be? LF, how much further? This is it! We're here! This? LF, are we lost? No, absolutely not. Just a bit misplaced. Ho, ho, ho. Perhaps I can help? Huh? huh? It's you, you're Santa! Well, I was. I wondered how long I could carry on, but now you're here. I'm here. Where? There's nothing here. Really? Look again. It's unbelievable. I hope not. Belief that's all that keeps it going. Come on, there's a lot they want to show you. They? Oh yes, jingle them. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, 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 Bell, 
ready, Miss Highwater? I'm at the door right now, but what do I say? I don't care what you say. Just get us into that house. So, what's the plan, boss? Yes. What are we doing here? If the girl we want is already gone. I don't need her here. She's a 16-year-old girl, Miss Oss. All I need is access to her computer, and I'll have everything I need to destroy her. So it's really important to keep your social media private. A school pantomime, Miss Highwater, is no place to be educational. Now get us into right. that house. Knock, knock. Who's there? Um, Upton. Upton who? Upton O'Goody. Upton O'Good? That sounds a bit suspicious. Should I let her in, boys and girls? Oh, no, he shouldn't! Oh, yes, he should. Oh, no, he shouldn't! Oh, yes, he should. Oh, no, she shouldn't! Oh, shut up, Year 7s, and get back to your lessons. It's no good, boss. They're too clever for me. Why am I not surprised? Don't worry, boss. I'll get us in there. Knock, knock. Who's there? Aaron. Aaron who? Aren't you going to let me in? All right, keep your hair on. Hold on, you're not, aren't you going to let me in? How do you know? It's a boy's name! <laughs> they thought of everything! Knock, knock! Who's there? Doris. Doris who? Doris Shet. I know it's Shet's gonna stay that way! <laughs> that was funny. Should we do another one? Do we have to? Oh, come on. Just one more. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dinah. Dinah who? Dynamite! There's just one thing I have left to show you. The one piece of Kryptonian technology that survived my crash landing. The Suborbital Lightspeed Accelerator, or SLA. Your sleigh! Your sleigh. But... I can't carry on forever. My powers grow weaker with each year. But I'm... I don't know if I'm ready. Well, why don't you take her for a spin? See how you feel then. You want me to drive that thing? Why not? I'm only 16! What's the worst that can happen? I'm so high, I can see everything Thank you. 
Santa is starting to worry. He sang out hours and hours ago, and now he was in a hurry. In just a moment, his Christmas night deliveries had to start. And if she wasn't back, the whole thing would fall apart. It's lucky he had me. I was ready to save the day. I hacked into the constant on the missing Christmas sleigh. Hello, come in, please. Are you receiving? Loud and clear. Who are you? What have you done? I hear you're ready to retire. And me and my corporation are ready to step in. You don't have to worry about Christmas anymore. How did you get that say? A friend of ours gave it to me. It seems she wasn't as keen as you thought to take over the family business. She wouldn't do that. She'll stop you. I know she will. Oh, I rather doubt that. I have my most trusted executives watching her on CCTV. One wrong move, and... Sorry, if she makes one false move, what'll happen? They'll blow her up. Then, I'll stop you myself. I'm so Santa and I'm going to save Christmas. This sleigh of yours... Wonderful technology. You know what I found? It contains the master controller to all of the LF bots. Perhaps you'd like to discuss this fervor with them. Where has Father Christmas gone and where? Where's the man that brings the gifts to all the girls and boys? Isn't there a grey sack upon a sparkling sleigh? I know they're watching on their screens, but I think they're still away.
You did it. I knew you would. Santa, I'm so sorry. I ruined everything. Ruined? Nonsense. But it's too late. It's almost morning. Children are about to start waking up. You're forgetting who you're talking to. I'm Santa. But I thought I was. You are, and teamwork is what we're going to need. Who'll help us? We will. Great. Who else? We We will. will. You? Well, with Iona gone... We do control a very extensive worldwide logistics and distribution network. And we're sorry. Great. And who else? Oh, yes, boys and girls, you can help her. Yes! You will? Then we can't fail. Come on, boys and girls, I'll show you what to do. Just follow me. One, two, one, two, three, go! Clap your hands. Santa girl! 